Hi everybody, this is Robin and I am going to start doing tutorials for Valentine's Day. I'm going to start uh, doing a few for my beginners playlist that I haven't done in probably eight years for YouTube and I'm just going to do them again because they were poor quality and some in the designs that I did on them are timeless. So, oops, so I, I, put, I just uh, painted this with a quick layer of French pink and acrylic uh, white wet and wild. I am using the Robin Moses nail art wand available at robinmosesnailart.com. It will be linked at the end of this video. So um, I just stuck my finger in there. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you guys how to paint hearts. You want to load up the brush. Here's my paints. 50 cents a piece for a full bottle. They last forever. I want to get enough on the end to where it goes about one third of the way up and get a little drop on the end. If you see a hair, let me zoom in because I can really talk in these videos now. Okay, let's, come on. We're gonna get this. Okay, come on. All right. All right. Now, if you see a little tiny hair at the end of this right here, that is the magic hair. And if you don't clip it, you can never get that little bead of paint on the end of your brush. So it is important that you see that I don't have any hairs coming out the end. The bead has pulled up right at the end of the brush and that's what you want. That is the top part of the heart right there. So it is important to me. I gladly have a few extra seconds on this tape or this video because I want you to know that I get them too. And when I get those little hairs on the end of my brush, I cut them and I use a little tiny scissor and I just take it, where am I? Where? <laughs> take it and snip in the air until I, get the, until I get the magic hair off. I do not go into the brush hairs. I kind of just snip at the air. So that being said, let's start this tutorial, shall we? All right, so with that, with that little thing, I, I'm pushing. Now I push that little bl blob of paint onto the nail and then I go and work around and then pull up. Push, pull up. Push, pull up. Now, when you get really good at this, you can make hearts with two strokes. Just push, pull up, push, pull up, and you have a heart. Now you'll have a little heart. The bigger hearts that you, that you make, the more you have to paint. So if I wanted to go across this area with just hearts, it would be pink, 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 pink. I might do one. If you guys want to see one, just say you want to in the, in the comment section. But um, if you want to see me paint anything specific, um, please tell me and if you haven't already search it before you ask because I've already painted so many designs I've done lots and lots of different kinds of um, uh, heart tutorials that are in all kinds of different playlists and I'm not the best at keeping my playlists as easy as possible but if you search YouTube Robin Moses you know hearts and unicorns one might pop up so and if it doesn't, you can leave me a message. Anyways, okay, so I'm doing the black hearts like this around. And then I believe I did the filigree. Yes, that's why I picked this. Okay, so someone was telling me about filigree. Okay, now because the, the holidays are finally over, I can go back into the filigree mode and I can go back into the more elegant nail mode. So with filigree, you want to dot. Okay. Every place that you have a dot, your, your brush will fall into place and then you pull up. If you don't have that dot there, you're kind of all over the board. The dot kind of in, syncs you up with what you want to create. 
And what I'm trying to create now is just like forms of hearts, shapes. Okay. And this is probably one of the ones where you don't want your paint too thin, but you don't want it too thick either. It's, it's got to be right in the middle with the hair dye consistency. So I'm going to whoosh it around, whoosh it around. I can always go back and fix anything I don't like about this. This is just the beginning. So I'll let this dry, which half of it is already dry, and I'll break out my red paint. And all of my colors are either, either Apple Barrel or Ceram Coat by Delta, one of those. You find them at Walmart for 50 cents a bottle. I was just there. You can buy the big, huge one that lasts a lifetime for $2.44. So now I'm going in with red. The red and the black, I'm gonna to mix together right here and make myself a dark, beautiful Gothic red. And anybody that loves that new, that, that dark, rich red, you add the, the black and then add a little tiny bit of fuchsia to that and it'll really pop it and make it perfect. It's that real beautiful color that's hard to find. And you'll never find it in a jar, but you can mix it. And I'm going over and painting red heart here and there. This brush is almost dead. I've had it for years now and I've been using it for all my tutorials and it's not really dead. I can kind of get more use out of it if I washed it and put it back together. But whenever I um, do a do a nail, I see that the, the hairs are starting to come apart. See, there's no real perfect line on that. I can still make it work, but it's not perfect. You can see that it's starting to lose its its luster. So. I'll open another one, but I but I want you to see that you can work with a non-perfect brush as well. I have for many years. <laughs> as you can see in my how to cut a brush tutorial in the first Frequently Asked Questions playlist, when I had to cut them myself before I made these. I, ha I, I used to go through a brush every three months or so, and um, this has been probably close to three years with extensive work on it. Okay, so now I'm going in as these dry with a red and I'm making a light red. A light red is not pink, it is right here. And my art teacher will probably be so happy if he sees this because he's the one who taught me that there's no such thing as pink, it is light red. So, shout out to Mr. J. Okay, so here's red. Let me look at my old tutorial. Okay. So with the old tutorial, I did a big red one on the bottom. And this is great because this is a um, design that is perfect for a, a one nail thing where you can just do one nail and have it really over the top beautiful. You can um, stay on time with your clients as well. So here is that. I'm gonna let this dry completely and then meet me back. But I got out my Inaz glitter and it is uh, Crimson Glam. You can find her on Facebook, I believe, I-N-A-Z. Okay. So there is that. Okay, so I dried it, and I'm gonna go in with the light red now because I have more I have more dry areas. So um, now here is where you can go and overlay on some of the places and take some of the busyness out. And um, if you have to fi if you have to keep on going uh, and rewinding to find out where to do it until you get it down for yourself, just keep following my lead, and eventually it will make sense to you. But it was really getting like right there, so I'm just highlighting in those areas. Now I'm taking a little bit of Inaz color, 
and I've decided to use it just exactly like I did in my um, first tutorial. Now, now normally I would go back and do different, excuse me, techniques. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna use um, top coat instead of textile medium. So I'm just gonna blob a little bit of top coat onto the side of the glitter. Then with my brush, I'm gonna move it and make like glitter yumminess. That's enough for a whole design. But because it's dazzle dry, I have to work fast. Okay, so, all right. So I will go in and top. This gives dimension on another kind of level and um, allows you to almost see through the nail when you top coat from the black and the light red. And um, you can go in and just do hearts that are clear heart clear glitter that actually adds a little bit of mystery to the design on how did how did they do that because then it looks even more in depth so all you do is you just keep layering and you just keep staying as focused as possible while you push and pull your brush up then if you wanted I didn't do this in another video, but you can filigree with the glitter here and there and everywhere. That. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'm going to put glitter there and then I'm going to top coat and I'll meet you back with the end, end result to hearts on a French manicure part two. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna change the lighting sources so you guys can see, but here it is finished. And it barely sparkles and it has depth and it catches eyes and it's easy to do. And I'm going to have it in my um, beginner playlist so that you can learn how to do um, hearts but also look for my valentine playlist that is going to be at the end of this video with a link to how to buy brushes and everything that you need to get started um i upload as much as i can and if you copy me please say hashtag inspired by robin moses somewhere in the description of your photo just to give a thank you to those who taught you uh, if I didn't, please give a thank you to anyone who teaches you and teach the next generation of nail artists how to be kind. And um, I will be back with more. Everybody have a great day. Bye.